In the Delta, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Stocked and Fish and Wildlife Office has teamed up with the anglers from the original Sturgeon Derby hosted by the Foundation Sportsman's Club in Bay Point, California for the past three years to collect data on sturgeon. California law requires that no white sturgeon less than 40 inches long or greater than 60 inches long be kept. This slot limit of 20 inches makes the derby quite different from other fishing tournaments where winners are decided by the largest fish. So the original sturgeon derby spins a wheel to decide the target length of the winning fish. Early on when the slot limit was introduced, we actually thought it, it, it might hurt the derby. Um, in, in reality, it actually helped our derby because the average fisherman felt like he had a chance, that it wasn't the elite guys that fish every day or the retired people that are on the river every day that gave the average guy the opportunity to feel like he had a chance. This year the wheel landed on 58 inches and the fish closest to that size would be the winner. As anglers bring in their catch to be measured, service staff is on hand to take blood samples, fin clips, stomach content, liver, and gonad samples. The internal samples taken are lethal to fish as whole pieces of vital organs are removed and pairing up with anglers allows biologists access to a fish that is already dead, removing the need to take others for research purposes. So sturgeon are long-lived species. White sturgeon we think can live probably 60 or 80 years, maybe longer. Um, the majority of them in California right now probably aren't living that long, but the fact that they, they do live, even if it's only 40 years, they, they're potentially exposed to contaminants over a long period of time. And those contaminants can bioaccumulate in their bodies. This is a unique opportunity for us. These, these fish are being captured and entered in a part of this derby that's been going on for 30 years here. And it's a unique opportunity for us to collect some samples that we wouldn't otherwise be able to. The sample collection is voluntary and most anglers are excited to be a vital part of the white sturgeon population research. Collected samples provide data on health and migration of the fish and can give researchers insight into water contaminants, population size, and available prey. The anglers have been really willing to work with us. Um, a lot of them are really interested in the science and the results you know, that, we can, that can come from this. Uh, some of them are just interested in watching what happens and getting a clean fish in, at the end, um, but, but they've been great. Thanks again to the Foundation Sportsman's Club and Derby Anglers for their help in collecting data on these river giants.